What's up, y'all? It's your boy JTMM, aka Just Two More Minutes, aka The Friggin' Ten, back again with another video. This time, we're almost actually closing out Ginger's latest CD, Wallflowers, with uh, this one's Dead Ma Dead Hands Feel No Pain, and tomorrow uh, is As I Boil Ice. Now, there was a request for me to do those in the same video, but because my videos generally, especially with Ginger, run between that 13 to 15 minute mark. Uh, I do like to separate those. So I did I did think about the request and joining them. But instead, what I'm doing is I'm actually going to be recording those both today and releasing the Dead Hands Feel No Pain today and then As I Boil Ice tomorrow. So I'm um, still back to back in a sense, uh, just separate days. But yeah, I just didn't want a 30 minute video um, that gets uh, troublesome when it comes to explaining it, things like that. So. Anyway, this one's interesting to me because just the title in itself of Dead Hands Feel No Pain can go so many routes. And especially with the way that uh, Tatiana and the band write, it it just brings an interesting dynamic to it. And and I've heard and read, read in the comments of, you know, wait until this one, wait until this one. So, you know, this one I'm kind of looking forward to. With that being said, let's take a listen. I'm just going to jump right into it. Boy, they didn't waste any time. Okay, so they ran right into first verse, second verse. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there. This one hits different, right? I mean, it, the intro was very short. Um, compared to quite a bit that they've released on this one. Happy morning. I woke up to a crow's song. They are croaking to above mu abusive music. Happy morning. I woke up to all my problems solved and dissolved. In a swamp of the past years, so I learned to transform the sweetest lethargy. Cripping on to the reality of, a of facing a thousand as they circle above. All right, circling crows. Which generally, I don't know if she's referring to death. Um, I mean, within the states, that would be more of the buzzards, but I get it with the crows. Um, interesting. There, there's a lot of different dynamics in taking this in because the first thing, obviously is there the the music hits and Tatiana comes in you know within a matter of seconds right we don't get that kind of intro as we've seen with some of the other songs a second part was at the end of that first verse right now i i generally when i do the lyrics what i do is i google them and then i just use what shows up um from google which is generally from a website um like music match. So sometimes they get it wrong in how they separate the verses, but this was interesting because as she says in the swamp of the past year, so I learned to transform the sweetest lethargy gripping on to the face of a th uh, the reality of facing a thousand as they circle above. Those kind of ran together, but they show a separate verses. So to me, that was interesting. And that's not something that she generally does as well. This one's interesting. It, it's got a different vibe to it, right? I mean, we kind of heard with the last one, 
and it was about the sleep paralysis. Um, it had a different feel to it, but this one is just a different tone, both in the music style, both in the tempo. Um, and we haven't seen it sped up at all yet and, and gone into that harder core. Let's see where it goes. This is fascinating. Great melody. There we go. <laughs> I spoke too soon as usual. Love that. So I'm going to stop it there because uh, there was a lot of things that happened, right? It, it, she comes straight out with the growl, which I, I kind of was expecting. But the fact that, you know, we were kind of a minute, a minute and 20 in on that point. And with all of the verses, or I shouldn't say that, just the first part she hadn't gone to it was interesting. Um, which I always like. I've said it many, many times. I love her, her voice when she sings. The strings of my soul got loose too soon because the rain of my reins of my heart were too tight all the time. Were too tight all the time. Here I am sitting on the edge of a cold fence, the same fence I left you all behind. An intricate weaving of a barrier separating death from life. Dead hands feel no pain, blackened hearts, early graves, a re reflection of the sky through the mirrors of the eyes. And I don't do this that often, but I'm going to go back a little bit. That's just that that blow right there of that verse. I don't know what the what the mix or what, but that just hits differently. Wow. And I mean, I you know, you get the visual of being in this field, right? Or at least what I'm been visually like you're you're laying in this field and you're kind of dying this slow death, and you see the crows, you know, kind of circling above you and you know it's the end. But it's that an intricate weaving of a barrier separated death from life is just interesting. Very interesting. Let's see where it goes. And the tone and the range she's going right there. Cause the rights of my heart were to die 
I'm just gonna let it finish out. Okay. So here's what's interesting about this, right? And let me just go into, let me just do a replay and pause here. There we go. Okay. Uh, the visualizations that she paints, right? And this is what, what, Makes me sad that we're coming to an end of another album, but also makes me excited because I know that there's been talks, at least I saw at least in one comment, of um, them working on another one. And just it, listen to what they say. I can hear them coming down, a familiar sound. It won't be long, it won't be long before they tear me apart as they circle above crashing down like black rain think about that right the visualization of that of just laying back in a field or or in this instance uh, you know what a nice day to fall into a ditch and be a feast for crows as as she says later on but you know whether you're in the desert right or or you know in a ditch or in a field wherever and you're just kind of looking up and you just see it crashing down like black rain of just bird after that visual in itself is intense. That would be a very intense music video. Um, I, I don't I think the visuals would would really. I don't know, just enhance those those for people. And then goes on and says, you know, dead hands feel no pain and then comes back and sings it. So this is, you know, I go back to that first um, verse where she kind of ties the so I learned to transform the sweet, the sweetest lethargy or lethargy, however you want to say it. But then instantly goes into gripping on to the reality of facing a thousand as they circle above. But this time there's a pause in between. Where it's crashing down like black rain, dead hands feel no pain. And then boom, she goes back to singing and gripping on to the reality facing a thousand as they circle above. The strings of my soul got loose too soon because the reins of my heart were too tight all the time or too damn tight all the time. It is my time to fill the niche or niche, whatever you want to call it. It is my time to serve. What a nice day to fall into a ditch and be a feast for crows. And be a feast for crows. That's just an extremely powerful song. Disjointed is not the right word because it's an awesome song. But there's a lot of changes in it, right? Uh, and but they worked. They worked really, 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 really well. I still think I like a sleep to the, of the righteous better um, with the the story of the sleep paralysis versus this one. But I think this one probably comes in probably the third best for me. Um, as far as the music, the tempo, and the switches, not from a lyrical standpoint. I think this one's the top. I love what they did with the music and the mixes, uh, the the mixes, and then with the vocals, right, where they did a lot of the higher range, and not super high, but kind of where she was singing a little bit, um, where a lot of the time she comes in in that mid range, right, and sings it. But this kind of kind of put her up there, and that worked really really well for me. Um, lyrics wise, though. I still like Sleep to the Right just more. It just gave this horrifying, deep, you know, visual, which, again, this one's not that far off with the vision of the black rain. That one sticks with me because that just creates, and I, I pictured in my head of what that video could look like. And that 
to me would be awesome. So, you know, hopefully, you know, they think about something like that um, if they haven't already. Yeah, that's a cool song. All right, let me switch it back and I'll give you my final thoughts here. So I think overall, you know, I think, as I said, this is probably my, maybe I'll say second behind um, Asleep of the Righteous. That one really hit that that one with the the just that visual of being held down and that par paralysis and feeling the palms um you know holding down and then uh, i'm free right just gives you this dark visual and this one gives you a lot of the dark visual and has a lot of the musical hits but it just it doesn't click with me as strong as the sleep of the righteous and that's just a personal preference it's not like i'm saying oh i hate the song second favorite song i think i'll say on this cd but man just the way again think about that line when you're writing a song right and you're telling a story as, as she likes to do and as you know great lyricists like to do whenever you're coming up with it right it's depending on how you write she doesn't do a lot of the rhyming right she just tells a straight flat story but you're picturing what's going on in the story as you're telling it and as you're writing the lyrics and to think about again right facing a thousand as they circle above that's an easy line to come up with in the sense if you're talking about the visual she's painting you know, with, with the crows, but then coming down or crashing down like black rain, that just paints this visual that is just captivating. You know, you think about Alfred Hitch Hitchcock's The Birds. Um, if you haven't seen that, Google it. Um, because that's kind of what I was visualizing with them just shooting down, shooting down, shooting down. And that just creates a very powerful um, visual for me. So I think overall, yeah, I'd, I'd say it was my my second favorite behind Sleep of the Righteous. Um, but I'm actually now going to be recording uh, As I Boil Ice uh, after I end this video. So it's going to be interesting to see um you know as as one of the subscribers had said you know do it back to back and record it back to back and show it um but i'm gonna i'm literally going to end this one um and then hit that one next so it will kind of be a back to back in the sense of uh hearing them back to back um uh, but that one will come out tomorrow as this one i'm going to record and get uploaded today so with that being said let me go ahead and do the shameless plug as usual if you like this song and exactly what i've said about it just leave me a comment, hit that like button. If you like the comment, uh, the content I'm putting out, hit that subscribe button. Putting content out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm starting to get that flow back again of uh, being able to knock the recordings out in the sense of record, get it uploaded, get the thumbnail set, get everything. So um, I'm trying to do some bonus content uh, so that I can get all these requests go through and, and as they come in. So... Um, I am uploading now on more of a regular schedule, getting it all scheduled, you know, a week in advance um, so I can stay true to that schedule. So I hope you all appreciate that. If you do hit that subscribe button, I've seen my subscribers already jump with since I've come back uh, tremendously, which I'm very, very appreciative and hope to continue that growing uh, as a community as I love the comments I'm seeing. With that being said, I'm going to end this one and get the next one started with As I Boil Ice. So look for that one tomorrow. Until then, there's more videos coming out today. A surprise uh, song that I haven't listened to yet um, that may catch you off guard that I'm listening to, but I just, I was Googling random songs and it came out. So we'll see if you know which one I'm talking about. But until then, my friends, always remember, if somebody asks you to stop what you're doing, don't ask for one, don't ask for two, and please don't ask for five, just not allowed. Someone asks you to stop what you're doing, always ask for just 10 more minutes. I'm JTMM. I'm out.